Welcome to a day in the life of Hidden Inca Tours. Come along and experience amazing things. And join us in June 2018 for the Inti Raimi Festival in Cusco. So here we are driving south out of the city of Cusco and heading towards some many interesting places to show you some very intriguing things. Our first stop is coming up very soon and actually there you can see it right in front of you. Okay this location is called the Inti Punku or the Hatun Punku. Inti Punku means the gate of the sun. Hatun Punku means the high gate in the Inca language. So this is a day in the life of Hidden Inca Tours. This is our first stop. This is the uh, ancient Inca gate that protected Cusco from attack from the south. But what we'll see is there are megalithic elements as well as Inca elements. So here you clearly see the Inca period construction. The Inca supposedly evolved as a civilization around Lake Titicaca on the Island of the Sun, the Island of the Moon, and the little town of Copacabana. So they fled north because the Aymara people were attacking them about a thousand years ago. They sent people to go forward and that's when they found the megalithic aspect that we see behind us and they kept following a road that was already in existence and that's when they discovered the abandoned megalithic city of Cusco. So rather than finding a virgin territory and then build a city which they named Cusco there they found an abandoned megalithic site with many megalithic ruins like this along the way from Lake Titicaca to what became Cusco. But they found a lot of megalithic constructions and that's why they decided to build their city of Cusco, the capital, in that location rather than the Sacred Valley, which would have been more logical because the Sacred Valley is where almost all of the food is grown. And what better way to see this amazing place the Inti Punku, then from the air, utilizing the little quadcopter, Wiracocha. So as Wiracocha climbs up on top, you can see that there's an ancient Inca canal. So it was a multifunction site, not just a gate, but it was also a place of uh, tribute, a place where those who were to use the Inca road were inspected to make sure they didn't have disease and where they paid a tax. You see the very large stairs that go up? That's classic Inca style construction. And of course, as previously stated, the megalithic parts are quite obvious. Now it's back in the van and heading further south. The Inti Punku is about half an hour south of Cusco and we're driving another half an hour south towards the little village of Andahuaylias. So here we are in the main plaza.
Okay, now we're in the little town of Andawailias, which is a colonial city, almost 500 years old. And here we're going to see the famous Waiki skeleton. Hmm? So the Waiki skeleton is authentic. Some people say that it's a fabrication or it was made up of different animal and human parts, but that's not true. It is an authentic 800-year-old anomaly. It was found on top of a mountain called Wirakochan, which means the mountain of creation, which is in the background here in a royal ancient cemetery and it was found by Signor Renato. It has been DNA tested and we are right now awaiting the results which should come in in September of 2017 this year. Previous samples have been taken by Russians and also by a British film crew. They did the DNA analysis but they did not release that information to the general public or even to Signor Renato. So we're now walking through Signor Renato's museum here in Nandawailias, and we're on our way to see the Waiki skeleton. As you can see, Waiki's skull is the size of her torso. We have been able to find out that she was a female, died 800 years ago, and was likely somewhere around two years of age at the time of death. Now these skulls that you just saw, they look elongated, but in fact they have been fabricated. Plaster of Paris has been added to them in order to make them look elongated, but Waiki is the real deal. So what do you think, Corby? I think it's utterly amazing. It's beautifully displayed. You can see every detail. That neck is connected to that skull. Those rib bones, which are very strange. There's way too many. The eyes are too big. The skull is strangely elongated. It's it's a you know it's an actual skeleton. Mm -hmm. And its teeth are very odd. Yeah. It's a, like a young child, but it has uh, adult teeth apparently. It's not a Homo sapiens uh, specimen. It's an unknown specimen. And then what about the bone over the uh, over the lip area? The rib. Back in the van we go, and we're heading out of Andawailias at this point. Soon we'll turn right and head for another 10 to 15 minutes to the little town of Huaro, which I'm sure you've never heard of. But in Huaro, there is a little museum that has some very curious artifacts. 
I would say approximately 10 people per day maximum visit this museum, but it's very well worth checking out. So here we are, ready to go into the little museum at Watto. Okay, now we're at the Watto Museum, which is about a 10 minute drive from Andawailias. And this has some interesting odd artifacts to look at. And here are some upcoming tours that you can join with us. In November, with Robert Boval, only three spaces left. And then Mexico in January, a thorough exploration of ancient sites. Followed by our yearly trip to Egypt in March. You'll see everything you've heard of and a lot of things you've never heard of and the Inti Raimi Festival in Cusco, the Sacred Valley of Peru as well. And related books available at Amazon.com, Lost Ancient Technology of Peru and Bolivia, written of course by me, and also my book about Machu Picchu, The Elongated Skulls of Peru and Bolivia, a thorough investigation, and The Enigma of Tiwanaku and Pumapunku, a Visitor's Guide.